Good morning everyone, how are you doing today? Today's stream is going to be just a little bit different than normal. I'm not going to focus on any one game. I'm actually going to talk about the Nintendo Switch one year anniversary and what it meant to me. So, March 3rd last year, 2017, I waited outside of my Target Shopping Center at 4 a.m. to get my Nintendo Switch. I went to the Target Shopping Center for my Switch because I did not get a pre-order at anywhere at all because of work. Target was the only place I could get one because they were the one that would not allow pre-orders until after the console Link. already dropped. Oh, wait a second. Link. I have witnessed your journey. You have overcome every challenge laid before you. Me. Ruta. Rudania. Meadow. Naboris. All of the divine beasts are now free. With the strength you have attained, I am certain you can unlock the powerful force hidden within. Go to the Shrine of Resurrection and return the Sheikah Slate to its terminal. Well, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, waited outside Target, 4 a.m. Waited outside Target, 4 a.m., got my Switch. At the Target, first, I was second in line. So there was someone there even before me, for one thing. Um, they eventually came out an hour before the store actually opened and hand out tickets to people. They said at the time they had 22 of the black and white controllers and only 3 of the color controllers. I didn't care at the time which controller I got, but when you hear that there's only 3 of the color controllers, yeah, I picked up one, and so did the person ahead of me, the first person, and the third person in line did as well. The first three of us got the color controllers. So I get inside. It's a nice orderly line. We all have our tickets now, so we all left for breakfast at this point. Get, go inside, grab my... Grab my Switch, pay for it, and I also grabbed two video games. The first was Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And that's why I'm taking this time to play it right now for you guys. I'm not going to do anything too in-depth, not going to do anything too extreme. I'm just going to slowly get through all the games that I've played over time. And I figure I've never touched this DLC, this would be a great time to do it. And that looks like Minden's hat. Take hold of the provided weapon to begin the trial. Okay. What weapon can I get rid of? Eh, that's flashing. Drop. And... Yeah, I keep a farming hoe on me just because, apparently. All my fancy dancy stuff. well as my armors. I have a lot of armors and I actually spend a lot of time trying to upgrade them. There we go. Let's take this weapon. Alright. I have never touched this DLC. I have no idea how, what's going on. Oh, I e should easily have enough hearts for this. Unless it just saps all but half a heart anyway. One who addresses the one who wishes to master a divine beast. In order to take this task requires unwavering dedication. The weapon defeats foes with one hit, however, it were, the reverse is also true, as it takes the wielder from a single strike, okay? This is weapon ability only twice within a second period of time, only when it's glowing. Okay, so I can only get two hits in. 
it recharges. Okay, so it's like the Master Sword. At the four marked locations within the Great Plateau. Defeat all monsters present to all monsters present to prove your power. If you are not up to the challenge, leave the plateau. The weapon will return here in the trial window. Okay, so it's only on this plateau. So, um, <clears throat> going to give you guys a little spoiler here. I'm probably going to die a lot. I also have to get reacquainted with the buttons here. It's been a long time since I've played this. Okay, so first one I want to go to is over here. Is there more people up top? This is go to the spot and defeat all the enemies present. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to guess that I need to defeat all the enemies up there. Looks like where I should be, right? Am I missing something here? I'm actually curious. I, I think I'm missing something here. Oh, hey, bomb arrows, cool. Monster bases. So I guess I have to take this out. No, no one's here. Oh wait, there might be a monster up top. What am I thinking? Yeah, 
Yeah, there's a guy up here. That's what I'm supposed to get rid of. There we go. Uh, I'm dumb. <laughs> it's early morning. I'm, I'm dumb. Although I didn't take any damage, so that's fun. Now there's a super shrine, apparently. Well, let's go in the super shrine. Yeah, I played Breath of the Wild pretty much exclusively for that first month. I did get a second video game, but it it didn't really catch on with me as much. I will be playing it next, so I won't be saying what it is just yet. But it was a launch title for the Switch. Breath of the Wild is still an amazing game. I just... I suffered burnout, pure and simple. I could only go so long of playing the game that eventually, after I got all the four beasts... Uh, so you can see there I got a bunch of orbs, 103 shrines, 123 Korok seeds. I just needed a break. Yep, welcome to the shrine. One ball up here. Okay. What's this? <clears throat> so <clears throat> something magnetic. somehow grab the really big thing, but not the small thing. the big ball. Darn it. This isn't fair. There we go. Ah, that was just for bomb arrows. Boo. thing I need is that shiny ball. Shiny small ball. Let's see, where is it? There it is. Get closer by a lot. back up here without taking a single hit. <laughs>
we go. Yeah, that was easy enough. There. That wasn't too bad. Just more annoying to play essentially goldfish catching, I'm guessing. Alright, let's run in here. Grab the orb. Or whatever I'm grabbing. I don't know if I'll get another orb, to be totally honest. Yeah, yeah, resourcefulness, whatever, I know. There's so many of these shrine guys. Yeah, I get a spirit orb for all these. Cool, that means I'll get an extra heart when all's said and done. One down, three more to go. I know I'm not being that interesting right now, but I've just not played Zelda in a long time. It's actually really nice to come back to it after a while, you know. It's probably been close to, closer to a year. I scanned many amiibo, I've scanned lots of characters. I eventually got to the point where all I needed to do was upgrade all my clothes. And, yeah, I didn't feel like going through all that. Okay, yeah, that'll be the next closest one. You. Ooh, mushroom. I don't need torches, I already have one. Don't need honey. Don't need slime. Just recharge my stamina. Still do not need slime. Bring an herb, I'll take that though. Uh, let's run around the back. I don't want to deal with these guys right now. <laughs> So this is the next space I gotta take care of. I told you I was gonna die a lot during this because I only have half a heart. Uh. Really hope the last save is after I exited the shrine. Yep, and you can see right where I died. Alright, let's go around the back side, see if I can sneak. So much for that! dead again. So, sneaking apparently doesn't work. Because they all just started running at me. Every single one of them. I hate Lizarfos. Seriously, having only half a heart feels like I'm at the beginning of the game, where everyone does five hearts of damage and you only start with three. That wasn't fun. The game gets easier, actually, as you play more of it. It's at its hardest, in my opinion, at the beginning, because you have no idea what you're doing yet. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah, blow your horn. And I'm dead again. God darn it! I hate these guys so freaking much. They have so much eyesight, they see exactly where I'm coming from. And I only have half a heart to deal with them. So... See, he probably sees me from here already. See? That's how much eyesight they have. That's the guy I have to get rid of, though. The guy with the stupid horn. So, let's actually try sneaking this time. I'm going to do this. No. No. There we go. Where is it? There it is. Make myself really invisible. Just need to get rid of the guy with the horn. That guy up there can see me too, and I'm willing to bet he has a horn. Because, of course, he will. It's that guy right there. see me. Ah, uh, damn it. And I, oh, come on, game. If you so much as think you're next to an explosion, you explode. You know what? Forget this. I'm going to just try running in head first and go for that now. Uh, <laughs> why have a heart? I spent all this time getting all these hearts, and now you put me down to half a heart? I don't care. You're dead. Direct shot because of course it is. It's impossible to sneak up on these guys, I've come to realize. You just can't. And that's getting annoying actually. Uh, <laughs> so that's I said, forget this. They're all just gonna rush me anyway. There and I'm dead over for it. There's just so many of these guys. And I've never, ever been a fan of the instant game over stuff, where things just do so much damage that there's no point at all of trying. It's annoying to deal with. This isn't fun, this is tedious to me. To you. Let's see, I got 
triple shot, so I have durability up, attack up. Yeah, it does a bunch of triple shots and attack ups. there's an explosion anywhere in your vicinity, you're gonna explode. And that's not fun. That is really not fun to me. I'm gonna give this another shot, but if I die again, I'm just gonna start switching game. Because this is dumb. This is not skill. This is war of attrition. This is getting lucky. Is getting lucky, landing one lucky shot, and then maybe you can proceed on. Maybe being the key word. See? I didn't even see anything there! How is this a fair challenge? Yes, I know. Wine, wine, complain, complain. Well, maybe if you were better, you could do it. Exactly. If I was a better player, if I was better at video games, I could do this. This isn't fun to me. This is, you know, annoying. And I'm dead already, see? I can't do shit here! Well, you could always come back and try this later. Yeah, but I'd have to do it later anyway. Might as well just do it now and get it over with. You know, if I can. It's the ha it's the quarter hard thing that's the biggest pain in the ass. It really is. Because it's just not fun. Yes, yes, shut up with that. Uh, shut up, shut up, shut up. At least they have nice items that they drop. There he is. Oh. 
Okay, where's the next one? Shit, there! Oh crap, Guardian! No, 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 no. Oh, over there. There. <laughs> I finally did it. I still didn't have fun with that. That was, again, just a hundred times more annoying than enjoyable. It's... it's mm. But, I did it. Now I just gotta get there safely without the Guardian killing me. Where did that shrine pop up again? Uh... No. Oh, over there. Run, just run, just run, just run, just run. Okay, a guardian can see me in the shrine. Yeah, that's that's a great position for everything. Guardians, as everyone knows, are the biggest annoyance in this entire game. I love that tip. If you're low on hearts at night, find a campfire and wait. Unless you're holding the weapon that makes it absolutely impossible. Alright, let's do this shrine. Alright. Start with... Where's the treasure chest? each other. Next one. All right, I can do this. I can do this. Shield. Eh. 
Seriously, game? Freaking seriously? Oh, you looked at a spike. You're dead. <laughs> you know, when I ended the game the first time, I think I had like three or four game overs, mostly of them in the first area. I have very, very easily tripled that number. Balls of death. What if I can do this? Just slightly hold it steady. Oh, it's on a chain up here. That's a swinging constant swing. Well, is there at least one behind it? No, I cannot. So, just gotta fly and hope for the best. I screwed up because of course I did uh, this isn't fun to me this is tedious and I gotta do the whole stupid thing over again dang it just yeah, made harder for no other reason than saying, hey, here's a harder challenge. Uh, I think all I'm doing this for is a motorcycle anyway. Alright, so jump to this, jump to this, I'm done. Alright, switch over to stasis. There we 
Athena, of course I get hate. <laughs> Once I'm done with this shrine, I'm switching games. It's supposed to be more than watch me die the stream. Of course, you're going to watch me die a lot more in the next game, too. Uh, I'm really good at dying in video games. Really good at it. Stasis. Oh my freaking word! <laughs> uh, come on, I can do this. I know I can do this, but man, is this getting annoying. Yeah, skip this. Skip the whole two seconds that the game will actually allow you to skip. Okay, let's try this again. Stasis locket. There we go. Please tell me I'm done. Hey, there's something that way. Nothing up there. Please, he tell me I'm done. <laughs> ah, crap. Yeah, 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 I see it. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a fair challenge. One hit, you're dead. I hate those challenges so much. Because you have to figure out how to do everything perfectly. There's no room for error. There's no way to learn except for ramming your head against the wall. And I don't like that. You know, give me at least a chance to learn for myself how it works. Before you just say, nope, you're dead. I want the death to actually feel like my fault, not just because the game says, nope, that's not how this works.
closer, by the way, or... No, just have to walk through it. So it was never coming closer there. Try this again. I think that's the biggest thing that I'm not liking about this is that okay. Seriously? Freaking seriously? <laughs> this is not enjoyable! Why am I doing this? Because if I don't do this, then I have to come back and do it later anyway! Okay, try this again. It gives me the hardest battle to go through. All those Lizard foes that just sort of. that just sort of know exactly where I'm going at all times. There's all of them crazy amounts of range. This isn't fun. I see the shrine guy at the end. I do! I just want to get this over with. to walk off the edge! Risk it. Don't risk it. Learn not to risk it. I know this is just a bunch of grunts and groans when I'm supposed to be, you know, having fun and playing games. <laughs> this isn't fun for me. One hit death traps are not fun to me. They never were, they never will be.
this thing to the side. Done. Oh, that wasn't too bad. It was more fun than I remember. No, no, this was pretty awful. I have lost count how many times I died. If anyone is watching this and wants to do a count, that's up to you guys. I don't even care what this guy has to say. Yeah, yeah skip it. I don't care at all what you say. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Save. Save. Progress saved. All right. So, on the day that I got my Nintendo Switch, I bought two video games. One was Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And the next... Was Super Bomberman R. Wait, there's a download? Oh shoot, did not know there was a download. How much stuff do I have to download for this? Uh, ten minutes. Let's just start software and I'll download it later. I picked up Bomberman R because I wanted a second game than just Legend of Zelda. And I've always liked Bomberman. They're a simple game. Every death is your fault because you can see where the bombs are. It's just enjoyable to me. It's frustrating when you explode yourself, yes, but again, I actually know that the explosions are my fault. So come on, Konami, 33rd anniversary, because that's a big number. Wow, turn that down, turn that down. Look how loud that game was. I never beat it, I just got the world 2 and I just kept dying over and over and over again. I mean the story I mean it's it's bomber man. Planet Timber I'm just gonna skip the story for now because I'm sure all you guys just wanna see is the bombing action. I hate violence. Let's go around and blow stuff up. I will never forgive you!
Stage I will admit the isometric perspective is a little jarring for Power Man in my mind. I'm used to always the top down. And your goal is to collect all the keys. was getting overrun with enemies. a fair challenge. Every death will feel like my fault, like it did in the first round. That was on me. Thank <laughs> you. 
go. Oh, you don't blow up. Bomberman now.
the thing about that first thing is like, wait, you? there. Here. You sure are big. Want to play? Wait! You, you're one of the dastardly bombers. Get your hands off my little brother right now. J j just because you're kind of big. We're not scared of you. gonna die here and like actually game over die because I have one life and I'm fighting against a bomb one of bombers golden bombers golden bombers so heavy you can crush on Just had to sacrifice myself, I guess. I have no idea what happened there, but I'm I'm gonna take it. I somehow beat him. And those bosses are always the hardest part of this game. Now these are easier. <laughs>
win? Eventually you did. Huh. I get no hearts, no stars. Go me. I don't know, I got one. Woo. Apparently, Big Bomber has a crush on the yellow guy. And that's Bomberman. After a while, Bomberman and Zelda have been out for a little bit. And, you know, it's time to get another game. Another game I've been waiting for. And this game, I will fully admit, is a double dip. It's a game I bought on the Wii U that I also bought for the Switch. Let's race. Okay. And start software while that's downloading. <sighs> yep, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is a game where I double dipped. I had Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U. Mario Kart! And I got it again for the Switch. Alright. Oh yeah, that's right, I got myself purple here for whatever reason. I should really go change it back. Anyway. Single player. Grand Prix. Gold, gold. I haven't done a single 150cc race, so that will be good. I also got the game because it had an inkling in it. And as you probably know, I really do like Splatoon. Let's turn this back up a little bit. I say, and what I use for racing is honestly all the standard stuff. Standard bike, standard glider, standard everything. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. I have a stuffy nose right now, like a lot of people do. trophies you have to place first in every single race in a cup and sometimes you just get unlucky so on the bus side when I'm smaller Down, three to go. 
then yes, I'm using all the standard stuff because that's just what feels good to me. Now, with all that said, there is a cart that I played a lot in the Wii U version, and if I unlock it here, I would play it again, but I haven't unlocked it yet. Eh, happens. Affect your top speed. The more points you have, the faster you're just gonna go. So that's why I grab them all the time. There we go, got all ten. You can only hold ten at a time though. Throw it up, rise on getting hit by a red shell so that I collect the coins instantly, and I don't really lose that much top speed. I'm now one coin, yes, but that's easily retained. Okay, yes, a horn! The horn is the best item in the game. At least when you're a first place person. Stop any color shell from the field, including the dreaded blue spiny shell. Yeah, I mean, it's Mario Kart. I love Mario Kart. Just a nice, fun, simple racing game. Yep, see, you can see on the map the blue shell is coming to get me. Over this past year, I have really enjoyed playing games on my Wii U. Right, Sweet Sweet Canyon is up next. Let's see here. There's just not much to say when you're doing races other than ah, no, 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 no. I'm gonna first not gonna lose this time. Just to... ah, that's on me. Now I only have three. Six. Lightning during the super jump. That's cool. Shell back behind me for a fence. I'm actually going to take this wide because I don't want to make a coin.
Still got first. That lightning bolt was really annoying, though. <laughs> Alright. Just gotta get first in the last race, and then I get a gold trophy. Another banana. <laughs> Okay, I saw on the mini map someone was coming up really close. Inkling boy, oh man! There, and now that I won all four races, view results, and I will get a gold trophy for that with three stars. If you even get second place on one race, you completely forego the three star rating. Yeah, this shows my. Uh, Oh, I thought it was going to show the lightning bolt. There it is! <laughs> I passed by Luigi in there. That's where I boosted through the donut. I love all the cinematic camera angles you get into this. Stars, 60 points, and I got a new vehicle piece. So let's go see what that vehicle piece is real quick. Eh, Who cares? Ooh, I got the GLA. Not gonna use that, but <laughs> yeah, I got an actual car. With a gigantic steering wheel. Yeah, I have all characters. Uh, let's pick... Blind Gem. As well as all the Mii costumes except for Toad. Or not Mii. Yeah, all the Mii costumes except for Toad. Because I refuse to buy a Toad amiibo because I hate Toad. 
I have a big collection of Amiibo. Of course, there's other games to play. I should just keep going with my Switch games in review. So the next game after Mario Kart 8 was a game that Nintendo was trying to push. It was supposed to be their next their next big IP. It got some popularity, but I don't think it's as popular as they were hoping for. So the next game we're going to play Get some arms. Now, arms is going to be a little bit of a different beast. I'm going to play this game standing up, trying to punch people. Well, maybe not standing up, trying to punch people, but I'm definitely going to be using the punching method as opposed to using just joysticks. Because to me, this is how you should play arms. I haven't played arms in a long time. Badges? Is that a badge? Or related achievements? Okay. I haven't played ARMS in a long time. I picked it up, I enjoyed it, then I put it, promptly put it down. It's one of those unfortunate I didn't really get into into it. Plus, it wasn't too long until the next game came out, and yeah, that next game took a lot. Let's see if I crash. Even though they're featured, I also have no idea how to play Max Brass. I sort of know how to play Lollipop. Lollipop, I tried her out once. No idea how to play him, him, or her, but I wanted to actually try her. So, let's do a match or two. This is gonna go horribly. <laughs> oh, apparently I got Spring Man. When I did play, I did not play Spring Man at all. There was one character in particular that I played a lot of, and it was not Spring Man. Yeah, I got a badge, because I failed! Okay, so the Chain Fighter, who I actually played with, was Min Min. I played a lot of Min Min when I did. 
So let's go one up. Let's see. Ah, shoot. Only doesn't have the. Alright, fine. Okay, there's a the primary serves. Yeah, Minion gets the dragon off. I was used to her with Yeah, I'm also used to that kick. Alright. Oop, almost forgot to change the title again. No idea what I'm doing right now. I'm so out of practice. I'm sure the people who are playing this game actually play it a lot. But it looks like my buddy just sort of gave up. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I failed horribly. <laughs> I got another badge for losing. Uh. All right, try this again. I'm so dead. Yep, I'm dead. I can't do jack in this game anymore. Uh, I used to be decent, but I can't do crap right now. What, I don't get a badge for losing again? Let's lose another match here, guys. <laughs> uh. Of course, you get that hit right away. I'll kick that away. And I'm dead already. What the? supposed to compete with that.
Well, I got times two. Yay. Yeah, I am so not ready to get back into this. Got a bunch of badges for losing. I wasn't planning on staying on this game for terribly long, but geez, I was hoping for at least something better. Alright, let's go back in. No, 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 leave. Leave, 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 I almost forgot. Uh, where is it? Set on, there it is. Set. Let's get back my Ram Ram. Let's go back as Min Min. Let's try this again. See if it connects. It doesn't always connect. Touch bark and bite before, but let's get him in here. I'm gonna lose horribly. How long did I last? 10 seconds? 13 seconds? Just so out of practice that it's not even it's not even fun fights. These fights just get are over so fast. Interesting. Uh, it'd be one thing if I was better at this game, it really would. Alright, Bark and Bite fights with me. fights. This is just stomps. I just can't do a thing. arms for like two weeks before it got shelved and I never touched it again. I have zero practice, zero training. I played all the 
demos of arms. I enjoyed those. But, yeah. I got nothing under the hood when it comes to this game. This combo. able to do a thing here I'm just gonna get that number up to level 5 and switch out of this uh, let's put the little pops on do some volleyball yeah I'm just not able to do a thing in this time Just stick with two fun chucks. take it I'll take a victory one more match should give me the last 10 points I need and then I'm gonna switch games again <laughs> oh I feel sorry for those three they're fighting a headhunter or headlock all right so just a simple fight uh... all right let's put a shield up That should give me 10 points to at least get to number 5. Yep, that's all I wanted. Uh, time to switch games. I might play ARMS again someday, but I have to practice and practice and practice a whole heck of a lot. That is. Yeah, I got one for volleyball. 
Want to play volleyball? Yeah. You played volleyball. Oh well, I'll just do that. Alright. Like I said, I didn't play ARMS that much. Mostly it got sidetracked by another game. Because this game came out not long after ARMS. Like a month maybe. And it was a game that I was very much waiting for. And you all probably know what it is. I mean, come on, you all saw this coming. No, 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 no. Controllers. Change grip order. There we go. I had to switch over to my Pro Controller for this, because I'm much better with my Pro Controller in Splatoon than I am with the Joy-Cons. Yeah, that's what I've been playing with all these games, from... Legend of Zelda all the way up, I've been playing with Joy-Cons, because that's how I played those games when I first got it. I didn't get a Pro Controller until I got Splatoon 2. And the biggest reason why I got a Pro Controller is so that I could play video games with friends. Some games, like Mario Kart, like Splatoon, it's just much easier if you have full controllers than it is the Joy-Cons. Other games, like ARMS, I'll fully admit, Arms is definitely more fun with Joy-Cons. Oh wait, we have a new Splatfest already. This is actually going to be the first time that we do a Splatfest thing like this. Seriously? Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Oh my word. This is dumb. Getting into some Monica crap right now. <laughs> Alright, what rank mode do we have? Rainmaker on the wreath and Moray. Oh, and you know what? I think I'm actually gonna do Salmon Run on the stream. It's sad when video game characters know when they're yeah, know when they're in a video game and actually call you out on it. So, um, I guess there's gonna be another stream this Saturday for Splatoon Splatfest again, and I don't know what side to pick. Anyway. I've showed off a lot of Splatoon, but I don't think I've ever showed off Salmon Run. Salmon Run, you're supplied weapons, you go to a map, and then you just defeat wave after wave after wave of enemies. And this group of weapons actually looks like a group of weapons that I enjoy using. The four weapons are always random, you never know what you're getting until you actually go there. 
but then you can see them in the upper left corner once they're loaded in. Oh hey, desperation. Or depression. I don't know, I can't read right now. Huh. Yeah, Splatoon came out, and that was pretty much the end of it. I got other games after Splatoon, but let's be honest here. I play Splatoon way more than anything else. I promise. But we got swarmed pretty heavily. Oh wow, that really hit my pay grade. I'm also using the worst weapon for me personally to use, the bamboozler. I hate this weapon. It's a sniper rifle with no range. Yeah. Like, I was doing full charge shots on those guys, I was getting no kills. Because, I don't know why, but they made a sniper that just doesn't shoot more than two feet. Alright, give me anything else other than the sniper rifle, please. Bamboozer, no! But we got more rounds. Ooh, a lot more rounds. Yeah. 
but I just wound up in the water. Rocco got a lot of golden eggs. Right, I'm gonna do this one more time because I'm just going until I get the shirt. I'm not gonna stay on this too long. And really hope I get enough points to get that shirt because that's all I really want. There's a piece of gear that comes out in every single month for Salmon Run, so there's going to be 12 pieces of gear total I imagine, and I don't have this special shirt yet, so I figure, eh, it's a free piece of clothing, just gotta play this mode. You get other bonuses too if you play enough of it. Uh oh. Oh, I forgot. 
charges when you jump back. Oh, I thought it did anyway. They are so hard to hit. Thank you. 
got it. We did it. Oh, we got super overwhelmed, but we did it. <laughs> okay. I hate the bamboozler so much. But we did it. <laughs> anyway, this has been my walk down memory lane with the Switch. The I do have other games for it, but I'm also getting a little burned out for going two and a half hours. I had a lot of fun replaying a bunch of these games, even though I was angry at the Zelda one. <laughs> hey, lots of stuff. Ooh, 1600. I hope you all enjoyed this. I just wanted to do it to celebrate the one year anniversary of the system coming out. Thank you all so very much for watching, and thank you for at least keeping up with me as I fail. And I will see you all next time.